in my previous video i already discussed about the chromosome elaboration of structural chromosome elaboration now in this video i am going to discuss about the chromosome elaboration but in case of numerical elaboration so what numerical elaborations are and what are the basis of numerical elaboration and what types of numerical elaboration found and uh, all of the basic part regarding the numerical elaboration hello friends welcome to biology concern i am animesh so let's jump into the topic so as i uh, told earlier that the chromosomal elaboration classified into two major categories that is one is structural elaboration and another one is numerical elaboration so numerical means the variation in number okay so this is the number aberration aberration stands for any kind of deviation from the normal okay so aberration stands for deviation from the normal okay so in case here in case of structural aberration i already covered about the all of the topics detail in structural elaboration and in case of numerical elaboration in the number aberration where the original number varies and those uh, varying or deviation in number considered as the numerical aberration so first thing let's uh, talk about some chromosomal count um, basis on the origin organisms okay so list of organisms so list of organisms on their chromosomal count that is our first objective okay so first thing in case of humans in case of human we actually observe that number is 46 in case of monkey That is macaca, rhesus macaca. Okay, here we found the number of forty-two. In case of rat, we also found the forty-two number. In case of Drosophila, the number is eight. So this stands for two n. That is the diploid number. Okay. So what are diploid and what is haploid? Let's jump into that first. And what is considered about the set of chromosomes? So, in case of human, in case of time of fertilization, we actually got twenty-three chromosome from our father and twenty-three chromosome from our mother, right? So, in case here, in twenty-three, there's two properties. Okay, twenty-two autosome plus one X chromosome or twenty-two autosome plus one Y chromosome. that defines the 23 of number but in case of females here 22 autosome plus 1 x chromosome correct so this is the number 23 both of the cases x chromosome is present in case of sex chromosome okay as because women consist of x x chromosome and men consist of x y chromosome okay so this 23 number that is provided from the mother or from the father is considered about that haploid or set of chromosome set or haploid number of chromosome okay so this 23 number consider considered about the set or haploid number of chromosome in case here but if we uh draw a karyotype that means a diagram of particular each chromosome that is pair when it is in pair okay so 1 2 3 4 5 and 23 okay or x or y x y just like that so when we took all of the chromosomes from a cell and place it on a photographic film or in a field and just click a image it produces a structure that is known as karyotype okay so this is known as karyotype correct so karyotype basically is the diagram of a 
each pair of the chromosome. So, we have received number one chromosome from our father and also our mother. Okay, number two chromosome from our father, from our mother. And so, number 22 from our father and number 22 from our mother. So, both these chromosomes along with X or Y and here X are defined as the set of chromosome or the haploid chromosome, right? So, in case of various species, the set of chromosome is continuously changed. So, in case of monkey, the number, haploid number is 21 as the total number that is the diploid number is 42. So, if we divide 42 by 2, we got 21. In case of Drosophila, we got 4. Okay. So, this is our n number of chromosome or haploid number of chromosome or a set of chromosome. There is too many difference that one set consisted of the haploid chromosome, right? And one pair, one pair of chromosome that is stands for the each chromosome we received from our parent okay so both of the chromosome we received from our parent actually known as a pair so 1 1 2 2 3 3 4 4 5 5 and so on so this is a pair of chromosome right this is a pair of chromosome and if we observe the total number that is the 23 number in case of human 21 is in case of monkey 21 in case of rat or 4 in case of Drosophila, this number is consider, considered as set of chromosome, right? So, in case of numerical aberrations, so numerical aberrations are further subdivided into four major categories, okay? So, in case of numerical aberration, where the original number of chromosome deviate from the normal okay and those numerical aberrations are subdivided into four major categories one is first one is nullisomy next one is monosomy third one is trisomy and fourth one is tetrasomy. Okay. So, nullisomy, monosomy, trisomy and tetrasomy. And here, write about the normal chromosome number. Normal. So, if we observe a set or pair of chromosomes, so pair 1, pair 2, pair 3, pair 4. So, in case of normal number, all of the pairs are normal, okay. So, what is the set in these pairs, okay. So, each of the, each one of the pair known as the set. So, n is equal to 4. This is the set of chromosome. Arrow marking chromosomes are this one, this one, this one and this one are all together known as a set of chromosomes, right. So, in case of nullisomy, nullisomy comes for null, null means 0, okay, null means 0. So, in case here nullisomy, one of the pair from a set is totally absent. So, this is, this one totally absent here, okay. So, this one totally absent, this pair is totally absent. So, this condition is known as nullism, okay, where it defines at 2n minus 2. 2n, 2n stands for the diploid number, as I told earlier, the 2n stands for diploid number, okay. So, here the one complete pair is absent, that means two chromosomes are completely absent. So, it is 2n minus 2. When it occurred, that the pro of nullism, in case of nullism. So, in case of cell division, when from metaphase to anaphase, from metaphase, if we uh, 
draw a diagram of metaphase chromosome here. So these one is chromosomes are actually hold together by the spindle fiber and the centri uh, centrosomes. Okay, and it, it is a metaphase plate, right? So in from metaphase to anaphase, in case of shifting, in case of one pair that is completely shifts towards the end, and in case here we have got nothing, and here we have got two of the chromosomes. If those chromosomes, those uh, point of view, this cell is separated or divided, so we have got here two, one, one, but in case here one or one. So in both of the cases here, one complete pair is absent. So one is totally absent, and if the two of the uh, sperm and ovum both are lack of this uh, phenomenon, lack of this chromosome, and they fertilize each other. So in the next uh, thing is in the zygote, we totally observe a complete absent of a pair of chromosome. In those case of nullisomy, no human embryo will survive. Okay. And in case of monosomy, what is monosomy stands for? Monosomy stands for the chromosome absent, single chromosome absent for a pair of chromosomes. That is the single chromosome absent for a pair of chromosomes. Here you observe that number four pair has only one chromosome, but it should be two, right? It should be two. But here, in case here, it is number one. So in this case, we define here two n minus one. Okay, here. As you get the mono stands for single, mono stands for single. So here a single chromosome is absent, and in this case we called it at monosomy. Uh, examples of uh, monosomy as Turner syndrome. Okay, Turner syndrome, where we have got forty-five X O. That means Total number of chromosome is 45 and one X chromosome is missing. Okay, so here we have got the monosomy. In case of trisomy, in case of trisomy, we have found one extra chromosome here. So it is a trisomy condition. One extra chromosome is present of a pair of chromosome. In case here it is defined as 2n plus 1 as the number of chromosome is 1 exceed from the diploid number okay so it is 2n plus 1 examples of the trisomy is down syndrome okay down syndrome where 21 trisomy present 21 chromosome present in three times so 21 trisomy is present in case of tetrasomy tetra means stands for four so in case of tetrasomy we found a complete pair, extra pair in a pair of chromosomes. So here it defines that 2n plus 2. That means one extra complete pair is present inside of the cell. And in case the example of tetrasomy is 18p. That in case of humans, okay, 18 number 18 chromosome is involved to form the ureter. That is the uh, urinary tract. Okay, so each of the kidney produce a ureter. And it produce uh, it is comes uh, along from the kidney, and those one is the ureter, and uh, it ultimately uh, joins to the uh, um, urinary bladder. And in case here, eighteen number chromosome is involved to formation of those ureter. Okay, so eighteen number chromosome is involved forming of those ureter. But in case of here tetrasomic conditions. Those ureters present in two in numbers. That means double in number. Both of the side ureter is doubled in number as because one extra pair of chromosome found in the case of cell. So in case of 18p tetrasomy, we found a double ureter condition. So this was all about the numerical chromosome aberrations. I think this video is really helpful for you to understand the overview of the numerical aberrations, what is stand for the set of chromosome, what is haploid and what is the diploid number of chromosomes. If you like the video, please hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.